Hi, welcome to a gorgeous windy afternoon in Chesterfield. We're going to have a look at a couple of things today that I've not covered this year. One is a bottom drain purge. I don't have a separate unit or anything, so I purge it into my filter system. And we're going to have a look at what I do, how it works, and what it pulls out while we're doing it. I've also managed to rehome the fry that I got from Adam Bayer, or which are now just over a year old, so they're not fry, they're Nisai, is it, I think. Uh, but I did keep one of them, so I'll have a quick look at the one that I kept and we'll see how it's getting on. As usual, I'm going to mention it. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. But not yet. Wait until you've watched this video and then check out some more at the end. Sit back and we'll have a look at the new Frit edition and we'll also have a look at the bottom drain and the setup we've got. I'm not sure 100% if you can see this in the light, but what I've kept is this one here. It's 9 inch long, which is 23 centimetres. It's a lemony light orange and white patterns on it. And I quite like it. I quite like the shiny fins. I like its uh, body size. So I thought I'd keep it for a year. So we'll keep an eye on this one through the summer. I'm going to have a look underwater at a couple of things. One's a little small fish, see how it's going around, but also the bottom of the pond to see what is actually collected on the bottom of the pond, what's actually going down the bottom drain, so we can see what we might have to expect when we give it a flush. I've got two returns to the pond. One is in the corner you can see in the background there. That's a midway return. And then to the left of that, underneath the backy shower, there's another return. So the water is actually swept round in a clockwise fashion and you can sometimes see the uh, bottom drain, the air from the bottom drain spiraling and being pushed that way with the current. Then you've got the fish that are swimming around that are moving debris, poop and they're uh, creating a bit of a current. So hopefully, and by the looks of it, a lot of it is going down the bottom drain naturally. You can see here we've got a few cotton buds of uh, uh, blanket weed or algae growing on the side which the fish will nibble away at and they'll keep a control of that. The rest of the walls are fairly clean uh, the water has got a few bits of floating uh, poop in there and uh, bits and bobs but again I live with a load of woods around the, uh, at the pond and I've got a lot of uh, flowers around there so the bits are going to drop in. Fish are fed all year round every two hours from 6am through to 8pm so they get a steady stream of food all day long. Anything else that drops in the pond the fish seem to nibble at and either digest it or just keep throwing it around from one fish to the other. I've lots of uh, uh, teeth been found over this last couple of weeks so I don't know whether they're teething or whether they're uh, it's just a seasonal thing. As you can see, a lot of the bottom of the pond is fairly clean. Anything that is going down there is going down the bottom drain. It's not being uh, left floating about. It's not decomposing. It's not causing any issues. And then the filter system itself will be taking that out to the uh, clean cycles. You can see in the background in the right hand corner, you've got the new addition to the pond. It's only been in a day and a half so it's not really confident, it doesn't know its surroundings and it is a bit dwarfed by the size of the other fish that range from 12 inch up to about 26 inch. You may also notice that I've managed to rehome three of the fish and it's looking a little bit more sparse and comfortable in there for the, for the bigger fish. There's still at least one more that I'm looking to rehome so if anyone's interested in the small shisui that's in there uh, please send me a message. I'll have a look around, see if I can find the shisui that's looking to move on. It's the one, that's the one there in the picture now with the little black uh, spots halfway down on its dorsal fin. We'll have a look at the filter now. So what we've got is a Profit Clear Premium Compact by Oazi. So I'm going to try and lift the lid one-handed so you can see inside. Bear with me. So we've got the standard drum this side with 60 micron sieves. The waste comes into this side through the 4 inch there, into there, 
through the sieve, into the moving bed, then out of the two inch. So what I'm going to do is close the valve, I'm going to close this one, put it with me. So that's that one closed, we'll leave that one open for now until it's drained out and you should see the water draining out now. I'll turn this off and I'm trying to kick him. That's draining down, I'm just going to take the sieves off so just the button, push it in. Pull it out. Not too bad. They'll probably do a clean soon. Not sure if you can see in there. You can see the silt settling on the side. That's nearly down. Beautiful sec. I'm gonna open the bottom drain. Which goes to the soak away. Let's spin this round so we can see. See so got the drain there. And that bit. Well, what I'm going to do on this occasion okay, is I'm going to let it all drain out. And then I'm going to open the bottom drain and stick a GoPro down into the water. Try and put a bit of light in there and see if we can catch what it's like in there. So just bear with me when I set it up. As the water starts to clear what we've got washing around and it looks basically like bits of algae or clumps of algae that's clumped together and been filtered out. That's after the third purge. There's still a good amount floating around. This will just stick in the drains and get bigger and bigger until it might cause you an issue one day. So it's always better, worth giving it a good flush out every so often. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If anyone's got any questions regarding the bottom drain, the purging of the bottom drain, the pond, the new addition to the filter, or even the grow on uh, fry, then please write them in the comments below. This year I've left it a bit later than normal to decide whether I'm going to have any grow on fry. And again, I'm not sure whether I'm going to get them from Adam Bayer, Cutterbuck Coy, or even Junction 27. The jury's still out, so I'll decide over the next few days and place an order when and if I've made my mind up. Like I say, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and now check out some more videos. If you like the video, please hit the like button. From a beautiful sunny afternoon in Chesterfield, happy ponding. <laughs>